Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro. Hope everybody's doing pretty good. Uh, you got to forgive my voice a little bit. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. But, um, going to share some good news with you. You know, I'm in the process right now of uh, getting a contract set up for me to teach um, here at Mary I Grand Vista. You know, a lot of y'all hear me and see me do the videos and all that. I know I haven't, I haven't been on the the lesson T in, a, in quite some time, you know, I've had a lot of success with what I've been doing. And once again, thank all my followers or whatever for the kind, you know, gratuities that you've sent me, you know, over the years, I really appreciate that. But now you may get an opportunity to see me in um, face to face or meet me in public or whatever, and you know, and just, and have a good time with me or whatever, you know, cause I, I teach a lot of great golf, but I entertain as well. But anyway, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you something because I like to try to put an end to a lot of things that I see happening. Um, I, I got my move, you know, no question. But what I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna teach you about the lower body. And I'm gonna show you how from the, from the hips down, how it works. And it's not so much about how it moves because y'all already know my dip baby dip. But I'm gonna show you the type of alignments to where you have to use creative visual, visualizations to understand how things go. So let me show you this. Now, when we look at the thighs, for an example, uh, we basically look, let me grab another club here. We look at the lower leg, and then we look at the thighs, just kind of just like this right here with the little joint there as well. But when you understand carpentry and see certain things or whatever, you, 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 start, you start learning, you know, got to learn how to make things stronger, for an example. Now, before I show you that too, something that you have to understand that the golf swing in itself is nothing but a collaboration of motion and the body doesn't know that, uh, you know, really what a golf swing is. But all I know that movements is, is that when we prepare to walk or we prepare to run, that's what the body knows. It knows that. And anytime we get ready to walk and I'm gonna move forward on you, then what happens is that if this thigh goes forward, this arm goes back. And it's all the same and it doesn't matter it's just how it goes if this arm goes back this goes forward so it makes no difference in the sense is that when we bring the club up in the air and it turns then it's thinking that the arm or the leg is preparing to walk so what happens is the leg goes forward see what i mean the leg goes forward in essence or whatever whenever we take our arm back the feeling is that the thigh is going forward see forward so when I make a swing, that's the sensation that I'm getting. See, everybody's so focused on rotation, they're not paying attention to what is the simplest of movements. Well, the simplest of movements is, again, is that when I make a back swing, when I lift this up, and you gotta lift that club up in the air, then this is gonna go forward. It has to go forward, no matter what you're feeling, all of those is trying to get it back here in a sense. I mean. You're defeating the purpose because like I said, you're not creating any type of resistance. So when I take this back, the thigh feels like it's going forward because it actually is, because it's wanting to walk in a sense. And then when I come down, this one is doing exactly the same thing that allow me to get there. And that's why when you go through the shot, you feel like this is balancing you. That's why you're not spinning and rotating all over the place. I'll say it again and I've said it a thousand times. Rotation is a reaction that, uh, that must, and it's created by an applied force, period. So when I sit here to go to hit a shot, when I make this back, all I'm doing is feeling like I'm preparing to walk or run. Take it back. And I'm telling you, I mean, it's such a simple move. And it goes into conjunction with my dip baby dip because the pelvis is always going to rock. You know, like I said, rotation is something that you're forcing or whatever rotation will take care of itself. If a ball is sitting on top of a hill, you know, all I need to do is just apply a force to it and it'll roll on its own. The same thing with the hip sockets and the shoulder sockets. I apply a force to it. It's going to rotate all the same. I go to pick this club up and pick it up to take it back here. My body's going to naturally turn. And when I pull it and pull down in a sense I go here this up here the shoulder girdle it's going to naturally turn so don't get so caught up in 
the feeling that you have to do all of that because it's unnecessary. And I'm not saying that people can't get away with all that, but why make it harder on yourself when you could just swing a golf club and the body will naturally react to it in a sense. Look, I build a golf swing or whatever that repeats itself. I don't care if it hits at 700 miles or whatever, that's not what I do. I build a golf swing that allow you to score. I don't need to be all over with you. I don't need to be all out on course with you because like I said, you know, I'm getting so many, so many uh, uh, comments written to me about people who are just shooting really, really good scores. Why? Because once you match the uh, anatomy of the body with what you're doing, the swing basically takes care of itself because the, it, it, I mean, this knows exactly what it wants to do. We don't have to figure out what that wants to do. All we got to do is make sure we get it up and bring it back down. And the best way to do that is to stabilize the body. And the way we stabilize the body is simple, in essence or whatever, is that when this goes back, the thigh wants to go this way because it feels like we're going here. And then all of a sudden, when the, we go through the shot or whatever, boom, the thigh feel like it wants to go there. That's why I said, you know, you can't step out of the pitch. You got to move into it. So here's another one. Sitting there, feeling that. Boom, and go. Solid as a rock. Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. the Shade Tree Pro. Always good golfing.